All right, friends, so just in the process of uh, changing out the lower control arms on our Project Turbo LS, that's the 1984 Thunderbird with a boosted LS in it. So I've already did this side, but I'll take you around to the other side and show you the procedure for doing it safely, removing the spring and compressing the spring so we can get the uh, proper lower control arms on. These ones here are the proper ones for this car. I was using Mustang ones before. Uh, the problem with them is they move the... Uh, ball joint one inch out and I didn't like the look of the tire because it was too close to the uh, fender or yeah fender lip so I'm putting the proper ones in which are shorter so it'll move the tire inboard one inch which is good which is how it should be from the factory so I'm putting these on and I'm taking these guys off right here guys so just want to show you the setup to do this so as you can see here I've got the spring compressor on spring compressors so you can see that right there so they're They'll go around the coil like that, and you fasten it with a 916 fastener, top and bottom. And so you want to compress those, the coils in between there so you can take the tension off your uh, lower control arm here. And you can see here, I got two of them, one on this side, one on the other side. You see that? So it's ready to go. And the setup I got here with the jack is a hydraulic jack, and I've got the, uh, let's see if I can do this here. I've got the, uh, the saddle here cupped around the uh, the ball joint there so it can't really move so it's pretty solid in there so I'll just just jack this up a little bit so you can see what I'm gonna do so once the spring tension is off there you see that I got I can jack this up and I can lower it like that but we want to put tension on it uh, like this yeah so and the cup, the saddle is around the cup of the ball joint, so it's not going anywhere. So we'll just keep put a little bit of light tension on there. And then we've got the pneumatic jack underneath here. So once we compress that spring, guys, uh, we can lower our hydraulic jack all the way down. But the problem is, since our saddle is around the uh, ball joint cup here, we can't get it out. So I'm just going to jack it up with the air jack just slightly remove the jack and then the spring will come falling out so right now I'm gonna put on pause but you don't want to do me, see me do this but I'm basically going to uh, yeah just uh, compress that spring so that's what we're doing we're gonna take it all the way and of course we want to alternate sides guys all right if I had a cameraman that'd be way easier okay so alternate sides like this so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna compress that all the way, and I'll just put this on pause and I'll continue. Hang on. All right, guys. So hopefully you can see this from there. I set the camera up. So what I'm gonna do now is I've taken the nut off of our ball joint. It's over there. So now, and I've compressed the spring as you can see. Hopefully. So now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna lower this uh, jack. We'll see how this goes here. See that? How it's... See the ball joint lowering out of the spindle there? See? Keep coming down. That's good. And the spring, the spring, compre the spring is compressed. So this is the procedure. See that? There we go. So now jack is all the way down, but the sat the spring saddle or the jack saddle is around the ball joint. So what we want to do now is we just want to raise it a bit with our air jack here. And you can see, I think that yeah, you want to raise it a bit with the air jack just to uh so get the jack out of here. Okay, so there we go. So now we can get the jack out of here like this. And we can lower this and then
do that. So we lower this sucker, get this out of here. So that was our air jack, guys, so that's good. So now, there we go, that easy. So that's probably the safest procedure to do this. Again, guys, strength compressor, hydraulic jack and air jack. So now you've got the spring here, take this on the bench, take our compressors off, and of course, lower control arm is here. We're gonna put the proper ones on, and that's the procedure, guys. So again, spring compressors on either side like that, as you saw with the uh, hydraulic jack underneath our uh, ball joint here, so it wouldn't go anywhere, and of course, the air jack here. So a bunch of different tools, but we safely got this out of here without it blowing up in our face. So thanks, guys. That's how you do it. <laughs>